Welcome to Lab 100, Container Native Development with OKE. So in this lab, you will take on the lead developer persona and work on containerizing your existing Java application. You will set up Worker to monitor your application source code repository for commits and automatically trigger a build, test, and package pipeline, which will result in a Docker image of your application that is ready for deployment. Let's start Lab 100 by forking your Java application. Navigate to the Twitter feed OKE repository and click the fork button. You may be prompted to log into your GitHub repository this time. Now that it's been forked to your own GitHub repository, let's switch over to Worker. And if you don't already, let's create a Worker account. In this example, we're going to sign into Worker using our existing GitHub account. Once logged into Worker, we're going to create our first application. Click Create Application, select the GitHub option, click Next. We're now going to select our local Twitter feed OKE repository that we forked earlier. We're going to accept the default setup SSH key. And finally, we're going to click the Create button. Now that our application is created in Worker, we will now switch back over to the Workflow tab, and we're going to click an Add Pipeline. We're going to add the push release pipeline. And now we're going to add that pipeline to our workflow. So click the add, select our push release, and click the add again. Now we're going to switch over to our Twitter feed OKE repository, and we're going to create our worker.yaml file. At this time, we're also going to add some preliminary statements to that file. Once we've added the statements, we're going to scroll down and click the Commit New File. Now that we've committed the changes, you'll see a worker.yammer file in your repository. If you switch over to the worker application, you will see that a build has been initiated automatically. It will also fail, which is okay. We'll set up uh, more environment variables later. Now we're going to set up some environment variables in Worker. We're going to start with the, the Docker username. Remember to click the Add button after each variable. The next variable we're going to add is the Docker registry. And finally, we're going to add the Docker repo variable. Now that the variables have been adding, let's, let's switch back over to GitHub and let's expand on our worker.yaml file. We're going to add the following lines, which if you notice, will reference some of those variables that we just added in Worker. Remember to commit your changes in GitHub. And if you switch back over to Worker and click on the Runs tab, you will notice that another build was automatically kicked off, but it failed, which is expected. 
you will notice that the Docker push failed because of an unauthorization error. And that's fine. We will set up that token in lab 200. 